stands for your company the details now the national disaster management organization nagmo says it expects to witness more losses as flood waters claim lives submerged farmlands homes and roads in the upper east region 10 people have so far been killed in the flood six in the upper east and four uh, no four in the northeast and six in the upper east region hundreds also remain displaced as the bagri dam spillage and days of rain continue to wreak havoc. Upper East Regional Nadmo Director Jerry Asamini tells Joy News they will be deploying relief items to victims today. We'll be cross-checking cross that with our correspondents. Before that though, here are some affected uh, residents speaking to us. Mm. My name is Atanga Vaida. That was on um, Saturday around 4.30 to 5. We are sleeping in the night, uh, in the uh, mid, uh, midnight. When my mother just came out to run it and she saw the water. So when she shouted, water, water, before we came out, water already entered our house. So to carry our things, our dresses, our mattresses, even our food self, the water took all away. We don't even have something to eat. We don't have a place to stay. We don't have uh, food to eat, our clothes, our mattresses. So we are appealing the government to come to our aid and help us so that we get a place to stay. This woman like this, that day she was sleeping. Before she wake up, water already entered the compound. So all the buildings have collapsed. So we took her to uh, this place so that we can manage so that you people will help us, support us with anything. So where were you before the water came and uh, flooded your place? We are sleeping. In which community? Anatim. Okay. Far from here? No, this community is Anatim. Mm -hmm. Is it how far from this place? No, no, no. It's this woman here, our house here. It's not far. So tell us, this facility that you are building, uh, who owns this place? The, the Nadmo people arrange with the, it's a filling station, and the Nadmo people arrange with the person so that we can come and stay. So how do you cope up with the mosquitoes? Oh, it's not easy. It's not easy. Mosquitoes. In the night, we can't even sleep. So right now, what do you think you actually need right now to make you feel comfortable? You want to look for a place for you to stay. Uh, if you get a place, you, you should help us so that we do our houses and go and stay. So, so how many of you have been affected with the flooding? And how many of you are staying here? We are three houses. The other one is staying at the school there, and we, the two, we are staying here. So you heard there are some persons affected by the floods in the northern part of the country uh, just before we came in the studio, a lady was uh, complaining about the fact that they've been cut off, the roads have been cut off, and she's not able to continue with her journey. She's actually appealing for support, and she says they've been stranded for days. My correspondent, uh, our correspondent, Albert Sorry, uh, joins us shortly from the uh, Upper East region. Hello. Hello, Albert. Are you there? 
Yes, Bennett. Yes, we, we, there was a weather warning from the Ghana Meteorological Service this morning. We'll be bringing details of that later. But uh, communities within your region were put on alert. Is it raining there? What's the weather condition? Yes, Ben, it's, it's been raining here for uh, the last one hour. Uh, as you see, just behind me, uh, the place is you know, uh, full of water. And uh, that is the situation. For the last one hour, there's been uh, a very massive downpour mm -hmm. once again. Mm -hmm. And this is further threatening to worsen uh, the flood situation. Albert, when I came to you yesterday, fortunately there were no uh, casualties or deaths recorded. We were hoping it will stay that way. Uh, we received reports later in the day that some four persons had died in the Upper East region as a result of the flooding caused by the spillage of the Bagri Dam and the rains as you experience it now. Who are these people? Do we know their identities? Um, Nadmo did not uh, really give us their identities. What they told us uh, was that these four people include a woman and two children. The other person is a man who, who died um, while trying to cross uh, a canal uh, by the Tono Dam in Navrongo. So this is what we know of the persons uh, who, who died. Uh, the death toll um, has stayed at four for now. Um, we haven't heard from Nadbo this morning because of uh, the current situation. Again, they are trying to make sure that people stay safe. Mm. Uh, yesterday, when we communicated with the Nadbo director, what he told us was that for now, looking at the situation, what they are trying to do is to ensure that people are safe, first of all, before uh, they concentrate on the other parts of uh, you know, uh, managing disasters, which we have to now do with um supplying them relief mm. and getting them places to stay mm. but already uh, we have people who have been affected who uh, have had to leave their homes and seek shelter in uncompleted buildings uh, and all of that uh, albert we were told that the relief items will arrive today any hints if that's still happening according to plan Yes, the, uh, NADMO has been distributing some relief items already. Uh, in the last two days, they distributed um, uh, some items in the Boko West area, as well as the uh, NABDAM areas as well. Um, but these were just uh, items that will help mm. the affected victims to uh, manage for now. Uh, the director also told us that they are waiting for more relief, which should arrive from Accra. Mm. Um, but because of the, the downfall this thing, uh, it's been very difficult to reach them. I'm sure um, they're busy trying to make mm. sure that people are safe. So ah. in the course of the day, we'll get some more updates uh, from Nadmo uh, mm. regarding how they are rescuing people. But he did indicate yesterday that uh, one of the things they want to do, as far as the farmers are concerned, is that for now they cannot really do anything to help them because mm. all the farms are completely submerged so it is difficult to even quantify uh, how much they have lost and all of that mm. so uh, they are really counting on the water uh, reducing in the course of the day all right uh, i mean uh, in the course of uh, the weeks so that they, they will see how uh, they can help these people albert before i let you go you've been trying to get us stories on this how are you moving around uh, amidst the the flooded roads well yes i i try to move around on my motorcycle um there are some places in fact nadmo has told us that we need to be cautious because a lot of the places are now uh, very um muddy some of the places are beginning to give way erosion has taken place in some areas as well mm. so they try to tell us to be careful uh, because Sometimes you, you know a place to be a very secure place, but then uh, it is possible that the flood has affected the area and it is softer than it was before. So mm -hmm. you could easily uh, lose your foothold and hurt yourself. Mm. So uh, we just try to be cautious in the midst of all of this. Mm. Uh, one other challenge is uh, the fact that sometimes you get to a community, um, you don't see anyone there. So. I think that um, people are actually heeding to Nadmo's warnings 
uh, staying away from the farms mm -hmm. for now. All right. Uh, but we are managing to get, yeah. Thank you very much, Albert, uh, for bringing us updates of this devastating flood. But you stay safe for us. Let's stay in the Upper East region. Samuel Adawuni is an affected resident, and he joins the show uh, to tell us his experience. Hello, Samuel. How are you doing? Yeah, hello. Hi, Samuel. How are you doing? Yeah, I'm doing well. I'm doing well. Mm. Uh, what you've what lost in the flood? Yeah, this year the flood has become more than ever. Places that you don't ever have seen flood, the, the flood has got that place. Mm. Tell, tell us how you've been personally affected, Samuel. Yeah, uh, uh, all my farms have been affected by the flood. And uh, I'm one of the uh, uh, Mongo farmers. Hello? Hi, Samuel, we can hear you, please. Yeah, I said I'm one of the Mongo farmers, and I'm not the only Mongo farmer. We have uh, about five Mongo farmers in Balibu. Where we do expect water to reach there, the water has reached that place, and even it has flooded some of the mangoes. Mm. Uh, currently, I even have a system fix, and my phone is on charge. After this, I can send it to you. All right. We'll be, we'll be expecting that and definitely we'll hear more from you uh, as we focus on this particular incident.